everyone welcome back to another tutorial hope you're doing good thank you so much guys for coming back so in today's video I'm gonna be showing us how to make this overlap ruffle dress I'll be making use of three yards of crepe fabric my fabric is a little bit stretchy so I'll be cutting out the back I'll use the back to cut out the front part I'll be adding zip to it in order not to struggle while putting it on I use one and a half inches for zipper allowance, so this is the zipper allowance, I will fold it inside like so. So I fold the zip side inside. The length of the upper part is 18 inches plus sewing allowance. The down part is 25 inches plus sewing allowance, while the upper part is 18 inches plus sewing allowance. So we'll go ahead and place the measurement. So I will go to the shoulder side and mark half of the shoulder measurement here, which is 8 inches. I will add half inch for sewing allowance. That's eight and a half inches. I will mark three and a half inches for the neck width. That's the wideness of the neck. Then mark one and a half inches for the back depth. If you don't want to add zip to it, it's up to you. You can make it without adding zip to it. So I will connect the neckline. I will go to the shoulder here and mark one inch for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. So right from the shoulder slope here, I will mark half of the random hole measurement. The random hole measurement is 17 inches divided by 2 is 8.5 inches. I will still place the shoulder measurement right on this chest line here. Eight and a half inches. I will connect it like so. Right on the chest line here, I will place a quarter of the bust measurement here. A quarter of the bust measurement is 11 inches. I will add one inch for sewing allowance, that's 12 inches. I will look for the midpoint of the armhole. It's four and a quarter. I will make a curve here. This is the back armhole. I will go to the waistline and place a quarter of the waist measurement here. A quarter of the waist measurement is nine and a half inches. I will add one inch for sewing allowance. That is ten and a half inches. I'm not adding that to this dress. If you're adding that to it, you add extra one inch for that. So I will connect it right from the chest to the waistline. So I will go ahead and cut it out. So I've cut it out. I'll make a notch here. This is the zip side. I'll make a notch here. But I'll be adding about four inches extra to the front side. If you're folding your fabric, make sure you have extra one. You just fold it into two because we're cutting out two pieces for the front part. So I have the front part folded into two. I will lay this here. So this is the center part. So remember, I folded the one and a half inches inside for the zipper allowance. I will be bringing it out later. So I will place this like so. Right from the center part here, I will add four inches to it. I will just mark four inches. So I'm marking this, this is the front side. The front side is folded into two because we're cutting out two pieces. So I added four inches here. I'm tracing out the front side. I'll be adding one and a half inches for the shoulder part. That's the front side because I'm making a little pleat here. I will add 1.5 or 2 inches here. I'm 
connect it I'll connect it like so to meet the armhole here I'll mark seven and a half inches for the front end just make a straight line here and this is the neckline so I will take this out remember we marked out seven and a half inches for the front edge and this is the midpoint of the front side so what I'm going to do is to connect it right from the neckline here this is the neckline I will connect it like so to meet this seven and a half inches that's the neck depth and bring it down to this part here I'm making a V neckline if you like you can curve it so I'll mark it right from the neckline here to meet the neck depth seven and a half inches from there I will take it to this damp part here I might go up one inch from the lower part I'll go ahead and cut it I just left up by one inch right from the lower part I will cut out half inch right from the front angle. This is the front side. I will make a notch here because this is the the midpoint. Here we join them together. So you open it up. You have two pieces here. This is the notch, I'll match the notch together here. Okay, I'll make a little plate here. Just two plates. I'll make sure I play this side this other way. This is the reason I added two inches to the front shoulder. I will just stitch it here, stitch it here. I will set this aside. We will be cutting out the lower part. I also add 1.5 inches for the back zip. The length is 25 inches plus sewing allowance, the lower part. So this is the waistline. From waist to hip is nine inches. Plus sewing allowance. Right on this waistline, I will place a quarter of the waist measurement here and add one inch to it. So I'll mark ten and a half inches here. Plus sewing allowance. The quarter of the waist measurement is nine and a half inches. Now add one inch for sewing allowance. That's it, ten and a half inches. So this is the hip line. I'll place the hip measurement here. A quarter of the hip measurement is eleven and a half inches. I will add one inch for sewing allowance, that's 12 and a half inches. So this is 12 and a half inches. I will go to the lower part, minus 1.5 inches from the hip line and place it here. So you can minus 1.5 inches or 1 inch from the hip line and place it here. So I will place 11 inches here. I will connect the lines right from the waist to the hip and from the hip I will bring it down that's it for the lower part I will go ahead and cut it out I'll split the back side open. I'll make a notch here. That's the zip. I will open up the lower part. The 
this is the back side so I've pinned the zipper allowance inside I'll open the back and the front I will lay them against each other so I stitch the zip side it's better you stitch the zip side so I'll turn it this way so what we are going to do is to cut out one side it totally depends on you on whose side you want to cut so this is my hip line right from the hip line I will make a curve here bring it down to the lower part here this ends. So you connect it you curve it to this end so I'll go ahead and cut it remember I'm cutting the two together I will set this aside we'll be making use of it later on I will cut out the sleeves before cutting out the ruffles I'm cutting out a long sleeve. If you like, you can cut any sleeve of your choice. You can cut out a three quarter sleeve. So my sleeve is a 24 inches plus sewing allowance. I'll go down by four inches. The armhole is a eight and a half inches. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. That's nine and a half inches. I'll mark nine and a half inches here. I'll mark nine and a half inches here. The round sleeve is 9 inches divided by 2 is 4.5 inches. I will add 1 inch for sewing allowance that is 5.5 inches. I will make it like so. And from here I will bring it down to meet this 9 inches. I have a video of basic sleeve in my channel. If you are not clear with this you can check it out. I'm cutting out two sleeves at a time. So we are done with the sleeves. I'll go ahead and measure this part and use it to cut out the ruffles. I'll come down half inch right from the waistline and measure it like so. So I'll place my table here. I have about 36 and a half inches. I will times it by two. You can times it by two, by two and a half inches or by three. It depends on how full you want the ruffle to be. I think I will times it by 2.5. Okay, 36.5. Times 2.5. I will be making use of 91 inches. I'm timesing it by 2.5. The length of my ruffle is 14 inches. I will use one inch for sewing allowance. So I have two of these, 91 inches for front and 91 inches for back. Now we finish all the cutting, what we are going to do is to put the whole fabric together. I will take this 91 inches to my machine and use the longest stitch in my machine to, to gather it. I will gather this and gather the back side. And use facing to turn the upper part. So this is the upper part. I cut out my facing. Before you make a stitch here, you make sure the front and the back shoulder are equal. So I've stitched up the pleats. So this is the facing. I will use this to turn the neckline. The facing is 6 inches wide. I will use half inch to stitch it here. This is one side of the front. I will stitch this side also. And stitch the back side. The back one is about four inches wide. I will stitch it with half inch here. So, guys, I finished using facing to turn the upper part. I use a pressing iron to press it down. This is the front part, this is the back.
This is the four inches I added to it only. I made a notch here, so I'll match the notch together. I'll just stitch them together here. So I use the longest stitch in my machine to, to gather it. So this is for the front. So I have two of these. I'll go ahead and attach these to the skirt. So this is the front part of the skirt. So I will take the gather, turn it like so. I will start from here. I will step down by half inch from this side. I will place it like so. I will pin it around this place I cut out earlier. I will use half inch to stitch them together. I will do the same thing for the back side. So it should look like this after stitching it. This is the back side. But remember we cut out two pieces from the side. So we're going to be adding this back. So I will turn this like so. Take the gather up. I will first look for this um, center part. That's the zip part. And attach it like so. This right side will be facing the wrong side of the gather. I'm matching the zip part together. Make sure they are aligned. So you take this side up also. I will stitch it on top of the gather with half inch. I will do the same thing for the front side. So this is the upper part. I've stitched up this place. And then for the back side, yeah, I just I stitched this space for the back side. I don't think there will be need for zip since this side is a open. So I finished joining the small piece. This is the small piece. This is the front side. So what we're going to do next is to join the upper parts and the down parts together. I'll turn it like so. Now we use our fins to join them together. I will do the same thing for the back side. I will make sure the seam align together. Since I did not add zip to it again. Okay. Remember the half inch we left here? I will use the half inch to join them together. I will stitch it here also. I finished joining the upper part and the down part together. This is the front. And what we are going to do is to join the front and the back together. We lay them against each other. So we use our finch to join the shoulders. I will take the back facing and bring it to the front one. If you want a very neat work, you fold it like so. So I'll do the same thing for this side. After stitching the shoulders, I will join the side together. So I'll use one inch to join this side all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. So for this side, I will take this inside. And they bring the piece out. I will do the same thing for this side. Take the rough holes inside. And bring out the piece.
one inch is a sewing allowance. I'll use one inch to join them together. Stitch it right from the armpit all the way to the bottom side. After I've done that, I will use one inch to join the sleeve. And so guys, I finished joining the front and the back together. This is the shoulder. So what we are going to do is to turn the dress to the wrong side and I attach our sleeve. This is my sleeve. I will turn the sleeve to the right side and tuck it inside. So I've already hemmed the bottom of the sleeve. I will match the size seam together. I will use half inch to join them together. I will do the same thing for the other side. After I've done that, I will hem the bottom of the dress. This part. So guys, I finished attaching the sleeves to the dress. Also hem the inner part. And turn it to the back side. This is the lower part. So guys, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.